A few years after I wrote my first book, which was in 1993, I was approached by a lady called Charlotte de Toy. Now, if you're a South African and you've been in the camping for a while, you all might remember that name. She was an innovator. She was one of the pioneers of the camping industry in South Africa. She had her own shop called Camping Africa. I really like finding product where one thing can do a lot of different things. And in this particular packet, I've got an axe or a hammer. I've got a spade that I can use around the fire or use for toilet purposes. Uh, I can unclip the handle. I've got some bra utensils in the shaft over here, like so. Or I can actually turn this unit into an awesome self-defense weapon, like so. So I really like using that unit. And she approached me and she gave me this. And she just gave it to me because she wanted to give it to me. And of course, it's a very nice off-road shovel. And it's actually, I understand, ex-British Army. I don't know if that's true or not. But anyway, a very, very nice little shovel. But it was her giving me this shovel that inspired me to design and build and sell the perfect off-road shovel. So I had three short-handled shovels made, each with different blades, and took them out for extensive testing. And I came to the following conclusion. During my many years of off-roading and during the filming of this program and many others, I began a process of, of weeding out the bad shovels from the good shovels. I wanted to make a decision. What was the best shovel to take on board a vehicle? Good for sand, good for mud, good for wet, good for dry. The first one I thought might be quite good, <clears throat> shortened handle, flat, decided against it. You can't move a lot of material with a, with a, a shovel like this, although it is, is easy to get underneath a vehicle because it's fairly small. Very large spades or shovels are difficult to handle because you can't get them in, underneath a vehicle when it's bogged down and they're very, very heavy. The second one, similar size, length but with a traditional shovel. This was a lot better, a lot more versatile. We made then one modification to this idea, and that is to sharpen the front, and that gives penetration. And we found that this shovel head was the best, a traditional shovel with a sharp end. We found that metal wood would be better because it would be lighter but we couldn't find anything to use to modify. So we went with a traditional metal shovel. That was, of course, a long time ago. And since then, I have yet to find a replacement as good. I'm at the 2016 4x4 show at Donington Park, in the middle of England. Um, it's mostly an inside park. There are some exhibits outside, but I'm here for a very specific reason. To find a piece of kit that I have always found difficult to get my hands on the right one. I'm looking for an off-road shovel, a recovery shovel. The garden shovels are just, the blades are too big, they're the wrong shape, they're very heavy, uh, or they're just flat spades. That, that's not good enough for mud. You need a, you, you, it's got to be right and garden shovels don't do the trick, but farm shovels do. So I'm hoping I might get lucky. Last year, when I visited the Donington 4x4 show, I was looking for something completely different. Out at the truck stop, and I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I displayed my Land Cruiser and everybody would go, wow, isn't that wonderful? And then this happened. It's ruined my day. It's far more impressive than my vehicle. And I thought everybody would be running around my vehicle looking at it, and then this thing arrives and then afterwards this arrives i gotta go home actually i'll make some coffee and then i'll think about going home these are an interesting thing i've actually got um one of these and i used it on a recent film i made demonstrating an air jack let's try this uh, the nice part about it is that they're extendable, so easy to pack away. They're incredibly light, and we were in a water-soaked mud. I have no idea if it'll be any good. 
Let's see. Quite flashy. And it was very effective. I was really quite surprised, even though they're meant for snow. That was pretty good, this, hey? I mean, I think it's designed for snow. But it, yeah, I saw it was quite good it, it was getting nice. stuff it's, out. It's nice and light. It, it weighs worked. nothing. I mean, yeah. it really is worth nothing. It, it worked. Um, no, I like it. Yeah. There you go. That's a nice piece of kit. But I think you'll agree with me. They're very uncool looking. But it's actually quite good. There's also this kind. Now, some would say that it's far too small to use as a recovery shovel. And that really, it's only good for, you know, toilet duties around the campsite. But the fact is that they're actually quite good, even for recovery of a vehicle, because they're a bit short, yes, but they're very, very light. So for light duty recovery work, there's nothing wrong with that little guy. And I actually keep it in my vehicle as well as a larger spade, because one larger spade for one person to do the digging, this little one for a second person to do some digging, and for, of course, camp chores, comes in a little thing. They're inexpensive. It's a great, great little shovel, although not the ideal recovery shovel. Now, I was actually hoping to find like a farm stall where farmers use these really long handled narrow shovels and they're difficult to find, certainly impossible to find new. But I did find these two. Now this one is, is really quite good. It's the right shape, it's the right size, but it's very heavy. This is two and a half, three mil steel, but the handle is the right length. And the great part about a long handle is, particularly in sand, you can get right underneath the axles and bring the sand out. But that's very heavy. That's hard work even without any sand on it. There's this one as well. This is rather nice, actually. It's shorter handled. And in some ways, a shorter handle is nice, particularly in mud, but not in sand. So I'm going to carry two spades. So which one do I take, long or short? The, sa the shape is right. I've proved that the sharp end, and it's not too heavy, and it's not too wide, it's perfect for getting under a car, vehicle. So I don't know which one I'm gonna take. So I picked this one, it's the lighter, shorter one. Because honestly, the, the heavier one, I just know, also, you know, you, where do you strap the spade? You strap it on a roof rack or something like that, it's weight high up. I don't want weight high up, I wanna keep any heavy things low down but I also want a dirty thing like a spade you know maybe on the back or on the side of a roof rack get it out of the way so I've taken the lighter one but my search is not at an end I have to choose a hat for my 2016 expeditions what do you think of that hey eh? it's not too small most hats are too small for me I've battled to find larger sizes because I got a big head oh. <clears throat> See, nobody around my vehicle, everybody around that vehicle. Not fair. <laughs>